that shit is loud because I'm downtown at the J. But um, yeah, man, like this shit. Cersei was supposed to die in front of everybody, and it was supposed to be bloody and brutal, and she was supposed to get what she had coming to her for all of these eight years. So the writers, y'all really cheated us like that, to where she died with the love of her life, and nobody knows that she's there for, for all purposes. Hell, she could have escaped. Nobody knows that she's dead because they died in the crypt and um What's good everybody? Beauty Daddy for Law Life. Um I'm not gonna do my normal introductions that I normally do. And I waited to, a day to release this vlog to talk about this last episode of Game of Thrones. Episode, uh, should be episode five. I feel motherfucking cheated. Do y'all? Cause you know, normally I'm, I, I post my show notes. I still might post my show notes and just to show y'all, but I'm not even gonna just do my show notes. How I normally, my shit be, you know, 20, 25 minutes or something. And I go in full detail about a lot of shit. No, I really feel motherfucking cheated. So since I feel cheated, I'm just gonna just kinda speak off the top of my head. And I waited a day cause I didn't wanna get, I didn't wanna like speak emotional and not even emotional, like emotional, emotional, but like, like piss and shit like that. I kinda want to let it sit and ferment for a second just to kinda figure out how I want to talk about it, how I want to view. But I think I'm just gonna come with just a list of questions about just shit. And I'm gonna keep this shit real short and sweet and we can talk about this shit in the comments or if y'all just want me to talk about it more and y'all wanna dive into more detail, I can do that. But this shit is gonna be real short and compact with just questions or random thoughts about shit. Um, <clears throat> why I feel cheated because the transition from what actually happened with Masandi, how the, how the last episode ended with Masandi getting her head cut off and how the kingdom or Westeros or whatever, just like how the whole motherfucking kingdom fell just that easy. And just everything that happened, like it was an episode in between. Like we missed a lot of information, a lot of shit. Like how was it just that motherfucking easy for the whole kingdom to fall? Daenerys. If it was that motherfucking easy to just overtake all those shits with the dragons, why you didn't do that the first time? Different people's like, well, you know, she underestimated her competition. Bitch, you're not supposed to underestimate your competition. And I mean bitch in a good way. I don't mean like in a derogatory sense. You know, like I say, like in a too short Snoop Dogg way and shit, you know, pet way. Bitch, you're not supposed to underestimate your competition. Why didn't you and both your dragons fly over during nighttime? If you're gonna set the city on fire, if you're gonna set ships on fire, you could do that shit during nighttime. Or you could have brought your ass over there and rather than go at the ships, you could have went the other way. But this episode, you went at the ships and you shut down every motherfucking thing. You shut all the wall, the wall and every just everything that had the big ass spear, harpoon, whatever you wanna call it, you shut all that shit on fire and you managed to get the rest of the crew in. Jon Snow and Tyrion. I feel no motherfucking sympathy for either one of y'all. Like y'all knew how this shit can go. Tyrion, you sold out Varys. And, and I do wonder who Lord Varys wrote that note to. If y'all know, y'all go ahead and comment below. Y'all hit me on my social media. Because I'm very curious on who Lord Varys wrote that note to. I know it wasn't Sansa because Sansa already know. And the note, basically, like he was giving game to somebody that didn't know something. So I'm just curious to, to who he wrote that note to. If y'all know, if y'all got a theory, y'all just hit me and let me know. Um, yeah, John, when the war was going down and all the innocent people were starting to get killed and things like that, and they zoomed in on that one two minute moment for you and you were kind of recollecting like when you're saying you didn't want to go on and shit like that brother you want it now like i don't feel no sympathy for you and how you felt or how you were shocked and all of this shit i don't feel no sympathy for you with that 
tearing your ass knew better, but you still just riding on the dumb ass decision and you finna die because you let Jamie go. Like, I don't feel no sympathy for either one of y'all at all. Like y'all deserve whatever feelings or whatever come to y'all, y'all deserve that shit. And John, your dumb ass, she gonna kill you or she just gonna kill all the people that love you to where you don't have no motherfucking backbone and you still gonna ride for her, idiot. Hey, but check it. When Daenerys was burning the city down, a lot of people are shocked that she burned the city down. Why are y'all shocked? Did y'all not see this coming? She is the Mad King's daughter. He went mad, plain and simple. And then she wants the throne. So if by killing innocent people, striking fear, just going against the grain, whatever, she, she's gonna do whatever it takes to capture the throne because now it's just like really within her grasp. Beforehand, it was probably a little bit farther away. She couldn't totally see it and things have changed between her but, when, but now she feel like she really ain't got no partners the people that rolled with her people that loved her all of them are dead so this is what it is i even read somewhere that uh some woman that named her daughter khaleesi was shocked at how this last episode went and i guess she kind of regrets naming her daughter khaleesi this is a movie even though it's a series, it's still like a movie. Like you're not supposed to have that much stock into uh, characters and holier than thou and shit like that. And now we only got one episode left. And I heard this episode is like 60 some minutes. If y'all hear that, that is most like I don't know if y'all heard. It, but that shit is loud because I'm downtown at the day. But um, yeah, man, like this shit. Cersei was supposed to die in front of everybody. And it was supposed to be bloody and brutal. And she was supposed to get what she had coming to her for all of these eight years. So the writers, y'all really cheated us like that? To where she died with the love of her life. And nobody knows that she's there for, for all purposes. Hell, she could have escaped. Nobody knows that she's dead because they died in the crypt. And... Um, just everything the whole building collapsed on it that's how that's how y'all write her off like that's how much y'all don't care about us that's what y'all gonna give us like for real so that's how she goes like nobody knows all the evil and hurt that she has done to everybody and all just the out of line shit she has done to everybody but y'all give her a peaceful death with the love of her life and don't nobody know so that's just how that's just how y'all do us. Like man, this is so much shit that I'm just kind of thinking about that I just didn't do it. Jamie, you's a dumbass. What's the point of having an iron hand if you're not gonna use it in a fucking fight? Like you were supposed to use that iron hand and you were supposed to break every bone in his face. Like you, his your own face is supposed to be mush. But instead you getting your dumb ass stabbed twice, he whooping your ass. You not even using that iron hand to block. Like dog, I just I, I just don't get I just don't get nothing. I'm just not understanding nothing with you, bro. At all. Yeah, man, I just really feel cheated with this last episode. Like, we waited, some people waited two years. Like, this is season eight. If we didn't wait all eight years for Cersei to die, the worst and, mo and most prolific death that we were waiting on, we, we at least been waiting five years. And y'all let her die quietly. Y'all, these writers, dog, they just hold us so much, man. Let me. Bro, I just, I'm just so disappointed and just cheating. Man, y'all comment below, man. Y'all get at me, y'all. Be there in the vlog. Like, man, I'm holly, y'all. Hey, son.